Hello, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the G2 Universe Sideswipe and a quick comparison to the Earthrise 2-pack Skywarp Sideswipe. Yeah, I picked it up at my local Walmart, which I believe it's only available at in Canada and US Walmarts. First, I'm going to start off in uh, car mode. Uh, I really like the car mode on this one. The G2 design with the sunset on the hood is really nice. And a lot of the paint on here is super cool. They kept the gradient from the G2 toy, or from the concept art for it. And I think it looks really good. Uh, the wheels are the same mold, but they have blue for the tire section instead of a of black and they kept the same sunset um techo on the side of the car which is nice um and a, a factor of this being yellow plastic painted blue uh the side here and the fender kind of like the blue doesn't go all the way to the edge which looks a little weird, but it's fine. Um, the blue on the back looks really good. And uh, the front panels are solid blue for the bottoms of the feet, or the shins. But yeah. The windshield uh, is also done in a clear blue plastic. But unlike the... I said Earthrise earlier, but I meant Kingdom. I like the Kingdom Sideswipe. It doesn't have it painted on the inside, I believe. I think that's what they did on this one. Yeah, it's just clear blue plastic. And the side windows are even... This one almost looks like it's just clear, but this one is clear blue plastic. Yeah. Uh, one thing... I do like a little bit more on this one, is that uh, the headlights are picked out. Uh, this one doesn't get the same treatment, but it does have a lot more in the way of paint. So I think that's why they didn't paint that. A little detail in. Yeah, looks the same from the other side. Uh, I think they both look really good from the back. About the same, uh, but the changing color doesn't make it look that much different. Uh, one thing about my copy of the Kingdom Sideswipe is that it doesn't click in all the way. And it just refuses to do so. Uh, but this one actually does it better. And these panels that uh, go into the, the legs, that flip into the legs in the uh, robot mode, are actually better on this version of the toy than on my kingdom version. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this panel is not like clicked in at all, like it just comes in and out. Which, not the biggest deal here, but uh, that looseness applies to the robot mode as well. And those, those panels refuse to stay. And he comes undone more easily too. Like, he's already popping off. Yeah. This guy still doesn't go in all the way, but I think that might just be like part of the mold. I don't know. We're like... So it's a little bit higher than it should on the side, but overall, it's better than it's uh, it's better than the Kingdom one in terms of staying together. The transformations are the same, so I'm just gonna cut to them in robot mode. So quickly, I wanted to show off uh, the part I was talking about. These uh, little back pieces that form the inside of the shin. Um, on this figure, it's almost like auto-transforming as soon as I pull the legs back. Um, these pieces just slide in 
uh, the thighs are enough to push them out. This one, they're a lot more stiff. And this character's knees, uh, doesn't, his hips are fine. But, uh, the knees are really wobbly. They're not very strong. Yeah. Uh, he, he doesn't, his knees are not very stable. Uh, this guy's knees, on the other hand, are much more stable. I don't know whether it's because of the extra pain or maybe there was not mold degradation or maybe they fixed some tolerances. I don't know. But uh, it is nicer that his knees aren't wobbly when his knees are very wobbly. And uh, this inside feature constantly comes undone and like will pop out in the back when he's in robot mode. Uh, these stay there really good. And also, uh, let me get him to stand straight again. You can see the uh, inside of the chest, or the back area, the, for the hood of the, the glass in the car. It is painted that metallic silver, and that's why it gives it that like look. But this guy is made of transparent plastic that's not painted, except for like the hood of the car. I mean the hood and the the roof. But yeah, it looks more clear on here. I don't know if maybe it's clear and they added blue on the other side or if it's lightly tinted blue. But uh, yeah. I'll finish it up and then get these guys into robot mode. Alright, and here we have them in robot mode. Uh, obviously, the Kingdom Sideswipe has the Autobot symbol on his chest. Uh, and this guy doesn't because of that really nice sunset deco. But he does have the G2 Autobot symbol on his shoulder, which is very nice. And he has the uh, sunset deco from the doors on the back and on these like side panels, which is very nice. Um, overall, I think both figures look about the same paint and color wise. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, this version of Sideswipe has, I believe, Red Alert's head instead of the Sideswipe head. Even though on the box, it shows him having the little horns in the Sideswipe head. But he does have Red Alert's head. Um, yeah, the eyes are painted uh, like a nice white. It's shine through very well. Which is one thing I had with this figure is that like you can't really see his face. I feel like the black and the gray and the dark blue eyes swallow it up. But I uh, can see it a lot better on this one. Yeah, and as far as the shin goes, got the same. Minus the coloring right on the, the knee. But uh, yeah, his feet are done in silver. It's the only silver on the whole figure. Uh, but it looks really nice. Yeah. And we turn them around. You get that gradient deco on the back, which is really nice. Uh, it kind of, I think the lighter color and the gradient kind of makes the features pop more. This is what I was talking about with this guy's, the back of his knees. It doesn't stay where it's supposed to and like yeah it'll just if I move his knees around it'll pop back up and like out of place I don't know why it just has loose knees yeah so here uh, the plastic looks a lot more clear instead of blue tint like it does up there yeah very nice though um one complaint I have with this figure Oh, shoot, he already didn't want to see it. Then, uh, is that these tabs for the hood, when you're going into car mode, they don't lock very securely, even after you put the, like, chest tab, like, down over his face. Don't know why, but, like, he easily is, like, you just pulled, like, front end down, and it just comes, like, unclipped, even if you didn't do anything. Whereas on this guy, those same tabs are, like, most of the stuff on this figure, much tighter. And he doesn't want to, like, untransform from car mode, which is nice. 
I don't know if they change the tolerances again, but uh, there's not any mold degrad degradation that I can tell. Yeah. Besides that, all the, the arms, legs, everything's the same mold, minus the head, which is a weird choice. I uh, don't know why they did that, why they did that, but it looks alright. I didn't notice until I had them side by side. And then I had to look at the box just to make sure that, yeah, side of the box, it shows him with the head. Even on the back of the box, it shows him with the regular side swipe head. But he has not side swipe head. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, this is the back of the box. It's pretty nice. It has a tox toxic, like, Autobot symbol in the middle. Yeah. It's cool. Really like the box. Um, as far as accessory goes, he comes with the same two guns as the normal side swipe. And I do like the coloring of them. They, they look very nice. Yeah, so the same color as, as this like crotch plate tummy area. Um, here they are compared to oh, Side swipe guns. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize until I got this gun. That the front of this rocket just pops off. Camera's out of focus. There you go. I didn't realize that uh, the front of the cannon popped off because I got him in the two pack and I'm pretty sure it came in one piece in the two pack. But that is an issue on this weapon. I saw a review about it online that said he also had the same issue. And I'll show you that right now. For some reason, um, the mold for the rocket changed? Or maybe it's a manufacturing issue where, like, the whole back half, oh shoot, the whole back half of the rocket and then I know that like pegs in, not even back half, the whole back like tenth of the rocket, it's just tenth. The whole back like three-fourths of the rocket is just gone. It just has this little tiny circumference right here that that holds the rocket in place. Like this whole black, the whole back white um, yellow strip doesn't do anything. The inside of the rocket doesn't have anywhere for that to go. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's just the same uh diameter the whole way around on both sides all right but, um yeah so so this the new rocket does not hold in well it holds uh but it's also like a kind of like an angle like a little downward angle when it sits in there and it pops off at the slightest touch. Uh, so here you can see how it's up. not straight and just gone. And I, I don't know why that's an issue with the rocket because this rocket fits perfectly fine in here. Yeah, it holds perfectly fine in there. Actually, the total amount of area, like, sticking out of this rocket is the total amount of area that this rocket has. It's, like, pegging. I don't know what. Holding fine. No issues. Yeah. Uh, that might be a manufacturing issue. Or maybe they changed it for some reason, but I doubt it. Uh, yeah. The only problem on this figure were the tolerances on the new figure. Are worse than on the old figure. Yeah. Besides that, though, uh, the guns aren't painted. They're just uh, clear. They're not clear. They're just solid blue plastic. The missile is painted that dark blue, uh, but it is cast out of yellow plastic. So I can focus. Okay. Yeah. So. Unlike side sweats guns where they're painted they're black plastic painted white and the missiles are red plastic painted white. 
Yeah, that's it for the accessories. All in all, that's my review on Legacy Evolution G2 Universe Sideswipe. Um, yeah, uh, I like this figure. Very good. Uh, tolerance is all great, except for the gun. Don't know why that is. Has to be a manufacturing defect. Um, yeah, they, uh, because of that review, I think that might be a common problem on these. But yeah, overall, the figure's great. Tolerances are good. This doesn't feel like there's any mold degradation. And uh, I have the G2 Bruticus from Combiner Wars. That one definitely had mold degradation. And some of the figures feel way lighter than their counterparts. Like, in a lot looser limbs. But, uh, yeah, this doesn't feel like that. Feels just as heavy as the original. Everything feels just as nice, if not better. And, yeah. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. And you should go pick one up. It's really cool.